This is code.org. Let's see what we're up to. I'm going to go ahead and hit reset and run here. And kwapow! This one's going to go off that way. This one's going to go off that way. All right, so debug. Sometimes sprites will behave in a way that are unexpected. There is a special sprite debug property for that. So dot debug is the property, right? Sprite is the object. Regardless, you can use better. You can use to better understand why sprite interaction interacts the way they do. Great. Do this. These two coins are round, so you would expect them to bounce in a certain way. Something weird is happening, though. True. Run the code and watch the way the coins interacts. Use the sprite dot debug block to make the debug true for both the sprites and run the code again. All right, first let's find sprite.debug. Oh, it's, oh, okay, it's here. Now, I think we'll just leave it true, so we won't need to put it in the draw loop, because remember, draw runs, oh, they already have it, just kidding, got it. All right, so let's make these true. And where you don't have them in the draw loop, draw runs 30 times a second, we don't need to keep making these true, we're just gonna leave them true. Oh, look, there's a square thingy. Hmm, <gasps> interesting. Change the coin starting position, X position to 51 and run the code again. Okay, gold coin. And remember, starting position's way up here, right? When we create the sprite, we create this variable named silver coin. Then we assign silver coin to the sprite we create at 350, 350. Well, the gold coin, they're saying the X, so X and then Y, so 51. Let's see what happens. Oh, you see that? Let me do it again. Watch which way the, here, watch, the gold goes to the right. Now which way does it go? Left. All right. So, discuss with your partner, why do you think the coins are bouncing strangely? Um, well, first, it looks like changing it just by one shifts it over so it bounces the other way. What looks like, though, is, watch what hits here. Boom, boom. Right, I wish I could slow it down, but do you see, actually we can, you don't have to do, oh, they don't give me frame rate, I'm going to add it anyways. You don't have to do this, but I want to make a point, yeah, world frame rate, and I'll go ahead and say 10 on this, it's just going to slow the frame rate down, so the draw loop will now run 10 times a second instead of 30, because I want to see here, watch these corners, tick, so the corner is hit, but there's no image there, interesting, I wonder if there's a way we can change that. All right, let me get rid of that stuff I added. I'll leave the debug on and let's uh, keep going. 